join them for their first time on the front line. The West Midlands Ambulance Service has over a thousand paramedics on its books. One of the youngest and newest is 22-year-old Sam Duplessis Grimson. Good job. Here we go. On his first shift, Sam's attended a man who banged his head and a baby who overdosed on medicine. And the emergencies keep on coming. On this shift, Sam's been paired with experienced colleague Kat Moore. Their latest 999 involves an elderly woman who's collapsed at home. One side's one week, so uh, history of a previous heart attack as well. So they're querying sort of a stroke or something like that. Even though he's the junior partner, it's Sam's turn to take the clinical lead. So she's just suddenly not with it and she's not herself. Athena's daughter's worried she's suffered a stroke. About 20 minutes ago, she said to my daughter she wanted something to eat. And when she brought it in, she just said, all oh, and her eyes were like, you know, rolling and she's gone all tacky and... OK. One in five strokes proved fatal. Sam must work quickly. Fina, hello, Fina. My name's Sam from the ambulance service. How are you feeling, my love? Not great? Mm. OK. Are you able to open your mouth and stick your tongue out? Uh, yeah, uh, OK, fantastic. He needs to eliminate other possible causes of Thena's symptoms. She's diabetic and may be in hypoglycemic shock. He checks her blood sugar levels. 6.8. 6.8. Yeah. That's good or bad? That's good, yeah. That's, that right? that's fine, yeah. Sam's examination convinces him Thena has suffered a stroke. She needs urgent care. What we want to do is pop you in our chair, OK? But she's 84 and fragile. Moving her could cause injury. Oh, I'm sorry, Nan. There we go. There we go. Oh, sorry, Nan. All right. The team needs to get her up the ramp and onto a stretcher, smoothly and swiftly. Yeah. Stroke causes 10% of deaths in women. Sam will keep Thena under constant observation. It's all about rapid driving at this point. He alerts the hospital stroke team. Hello, query stroke, facial weakness and slurred speech. Yeah, left side. Pulse is uh, 83, uh, BM 6.9. And all the time he tries to keep his patient awake. Tina, how you feel about love? Okay, do you know what day it is? Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Spot on, yeah. A positive sign, Thena's still alert. Although she lives 25 miles from the stroke unit, Sam and Kat have got Thena there in just 27 minutes. Hello. You do have a real pressure as a paramedic to get that patient into hospital as soon as possible and make sure she has still a good quality of life. So I think we did well on that one. Uh, I think we worked really well as a team and we were sort of gelling together. So yes, yeah, good job. West Midlands Ambulance Service receives 3,999 calls every day. More than enough to keep rookie paramedic Sam fully occupied. On this hectic shift, he and mentor Kat are responding to yet another emergency. A six-year-old male at the walk-in centre in Solihull with an allergic reaction to cash units. Nut allergies are increasingly common, affecting half a million people in Britain. The most severe reactions lead to anaphylactic shock, and that can be fatal. You can have airway compromise, your airway will swell up and potentially become occluded, which then puts you at risk of respiratory arrest. Look at that, who's that score? Shutting off the roundabout for us, legend. Woo! Sam goes on ahead while his partner collects the kit. Their latest patient, six-year-old Louis, is clearly in a bad way. He's had about five cashew nuts at his friend's house. All right. Louis's facial swelling indicates a severe reaction. Breathing problems could soon follow. They need to rush him to the nearest paediatric unit at Heartlands Hospital. I've been there a few times before, haven't I? Oh, yeah. 
The child's history of breathing problems is a concern. A trip up to hospital. For a rookie paramedic, this is a major challenge. Louis could deteriorate rapidly. Can I just pop these straps on you? Just make sure you're all secure, okay? I promise my mate is a good driver. Just be on the mm -hmm. safe side, all right. This is gonna go a little tight on your arm, okay? Just measure how strong you are. All right, so try not to break it, okay? There you go. During the journey, the little boy's mum grows increasingly anxious. I'm not comfortable with his eyes like that. He's being really brave. It just doesn't look like Louis at the moment. Sam monitors his young patient's breathing. Okay, Louis, I'm just going to listen to you. You're all right. Suddenly, a worrying development. Louis's breathing is becoming compromised. The allergic reaction is getting worse. Well, Louis, just because of his breathing, he's starting to get a little wheezy. Mm. That just in, indicates that he's possibly got some inflammation to his lungs. The allergic reaction has just spread to his chest. Sam has a big decision to make. He could inject Louis with adrenaline, but that would be an extreme course of action. Instead, Sam opts for a nebulizer to open Louis's airways and hopefully deal with the immediate threat to life. But now there's another problem. Louis's throat might be closing up, a common cause of death in anaphylactic reactions. Sore throat. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, a big cough. Put this back on you, mate. Okay. Cat's already driving at speed, but she checks with Sam to see if she should go even faster. Give me a shout if anything changes and you need me to. He's just on that now. For the first time today, Sam's feeling the pressure. How you feeling now, Louis? Good. Good eh? Sam assesses Louis' breathing. It looks like his condition has stabilised. Louise is still there, but it's no worse. And his heart rate is stable too. My machine here says you're very, very strong. You're strong. You nearly broke it. You're stronger than me. Sam notifies the hospital an urgent case is arriving. Hi, right, I've got an alert for you. They reach the hospital where, despite being stabilized, Louis will need immediate specialist care. <coughs> Sam and Cat are working together like a well oiled machine. As planned, the hospital staff are waiting for Louis, and Sam prepares his young patient for what's going to happen next. Now, Louis, lots of people are going to be talking to you, OK? But just try not to get scared and try and tell them everything you can, all right, mate? They're going to be lot of asking lots of silly questions, OK? And lots of weird questions. But it's very important to try and answer them as best you can, all right, mate? OK, good man. Louis's lungs are showing signs of improvement. Sam's decision to use the nebulizer rather than injecting adrenaline has proved correct. Do you have to make sort of snap decisions when you have a decision in your mind? And you're there going yes or no, yes or no, and you say, and you're just like, you just got to do it. And uh, that's why I sort of really did stay, so I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I was able to make that decision and just do it. Cat is impressed with Sam's quick thinking. Yeah, that one went really well. The nebulizers stabilized him until we got him to hospital, so good job. Their shift ends on a high. Yeah! <laughs> Sam's patient, Thena, was diagnosed as having a stroke, but she recovered in hospital and returned home 48 hours later. And Louis' breathing soon returned to normal. He was discharged from hospital, and three days later, the swelling went down.